All right, will you at least sit down until everyone gets here? No, I won't, Philip. I don't want to give them the slightest indication that I am not fully capable. After your exertions last night with Olivia, who could possibly think that? You know, Philip, you should be less sarcastic and a little more appreciative of what Olivia did. Hello, boys. India. Philip. Alan, you both look as dashing as ever. <laughs> well, India. Well, what are you doing here? Yes, uh, you sent me your proxy. I have it right here. Yeah. I changed my mind. Under the circumstances, I decided it would be better to make this vote in person. I see, I see. Uh, so, Alexander couldn't accuse me of coercing you, right? Mm. Smart thinking. <laughs> uh, I guess it never hurts to have another ally in the room. Allies? Is that how you think of me, Philip? I was speaking in the broadest, most general terms. Speaking in general terms about me? Oh, now I'm hurt, <laughs> Philip. I would rather think that of all your ex-wives, you consider me unique. Oh. <laughs> well... How is Beth? You two headed for yet another round of bliss? No, actually, Beth and I are no longer involved. No? What a shame. Yes, I can see that it comes as rough news for you. Actually, it's, uh, it's for the best. Words I never thought I'd hear come out of your mouth. Mr. <laughs> oh, uh, Philip. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is this it? It's official. You can vote your shares. Excellent. <laughs> Hello, India. Oh, it's wonderful to see you too, Alexandra. Alexandra, your loving brother in the flesh. Well, I expected that you might be here. I hadn't thought to see you looking quite so fit. <laughs> perhaps we should have a word alone. Yes, perhaps we should. Well, Alexandra, are you surprised to see your brother up and about? You shouldn't be. A judge just signed off on this document stating, I am no longer incapacitated. <laughs> you have never been incapacitated in the first place. You faked your heart attack, remember? Why has pretending to be ill for so long addled your brain? On the contrary, I'm seeing very clearly. And with this document, I have my vote back. And with it, I can stop your attempted coup. Do you remember why you gave me the vote in the first place, Alan? Because I was the one who knew the secrets of your trusty ticker. And I could have revealed it all to Olivia and Philip. So you keep saying. Hmm, well, Spalding you can afford to lose, but not the love of your son and his fiancée. Right? You will never expose me. You don't have it in you to destroy me and to hurt Philip. No. <laughs> Just try me. That's why I'm here. That's what I'm going to do. Call your bluff. Now, your little coup attempt has failed. I shall remain in power. Now, if you will expose me, you will do nothing but alienate me, and I will have to put you in your place. Now, you can huff and puff all you want to, but you will never take my son away from me or the woman that I love. Why is that? Because deep down inside, Alexandra, you're nothing but a softy. Remember, that's why you came back to Springfield, to save us from ourselves. Now, you won't destroy us in the process. You lack the requisite taste of blood. <laughs> Unlike you. Okay. Did we settle this? Are we through playing games, or do you want to see him back in the wheelchair? It's all right, Philip. Alexandra and I have settled our differences. All right, Alan. Throw me a bone, but since I am still acting CEO of the company, at least let me lead the meeting. Dan? Mm -hmm. It's all right, Philip. I, I can afford to be generous. Yeah. Just watch. If you can go.
Well, Alexandra, I uh, think we can begin. Yes, well, it is a rather <laughs> paltry turnout. Now, by proxy, the board has approved the minutes of the last meeting and the agenda for this one, so I think that we can begin. As you know, I initially came to Springfield to look after my ailing brother. But when I got here, what I found severely distressed me. Alan on his sickbed was as difficult as ever, and stupid, too, being hoodwinked by the charms of a gold digger. Alexandra, you are out of order. Oh, no, Alan, you are out of order. And Philip, you're even more of a disappointment. You used to be so kind and, and tolerant. Whatever happened to that great guy who gave his ex-wives generous amounts of Spalding stock to take care of them? That was the mark of a true gentleman. But you've become petty and, and cold. So cold, in fact, that you are trying to keep your own son away from his mother. On Alexander, you, you really might want to get all the facts before you make judgments. Yes, well, I just have one more thing to say to both of you. Philip, don't be stupid enough to give stock to people whom you've mistreated. And Alan, dear, you don't know me nearly as well as you think you do. Right, so we will now vote to see if Alan Spaulding remains the CEO of Spaulding Enterprises or if I will take his place. Per the corporate bylaws of this company, any family members, past or present, may vote, providing that they hold the requisite amount of votes. Now, thanks to my generosity, a few more family members have finally gained that threshold. So, won't you all please join me in welcoming the latest voting members of the board, or as I fondly like to call them, the Ex-Wives Club. Welcome to the first ever meeting of the Ex-Wives Club. Welcome to my nightmare. Well... well what? I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. I'm really glad you decided to come. So am I. I've been waiting for a chance like this for years. We start with me ahead by three votes. And that's, that's family proxies and all the board votes, right? Right. Okay, well then you're fine. Yes, it's all right. Uh, as long as we have one of their votes, and as long as I take my vote. Well, why wouldn't you take your vote? You know, I'm going to stop this dog and pony show right now. Alexandra. Call it off. You've lost before you've even started. Don't be so sure. Don't forget, I have your vote, too. Unless you want Philip and Olivia to find out everything and lose them, too. Funny. I thought you cared for Philip. But if this is the way you treat people that you love, no wonder you're alone. Just be prepared to live with the consequences. And the same to you, Melon. All right? Right, now, um, let's get down to business, shall we? And the first order of business is... First order of business is, what are these women doing here? They've never voted before. Or a divorce settlement, let alone any stock. Oh, I, I didn't get it from you. No, apparently, Alan Michael gave me stock. So, see, I have a vote. Isn't that great? Like it or not? Oh, he'll love it. Wait. What about the rest of them? Oh, Alan, you are being so tiresome. Now, let's get on with it. Nick! Here are the holdings of each member present, so we now have enough to vote on. Yeah, yeah. Now they all have enough thanks to you, right? All the shares that you bought up when the stock price hit rock bottom. Why should strangers make a killing out of this? Better to keep it in the family, especially with the women that you've loved. 
who have been very supportive today. Okay. Mindy, why are you here? I had to come. Oh, Mindy, nobody held a gun to your head. Can we please come to order? We have a vote on the agenda, so let's get on with it. I now move that Alexandra Spaulding be installed as Chief Executive Officer of Spaulding Enterprises. Effective immediately. I second the motion. I move we suspend. Shut up, Alan. There's already one motion on the floor. Nick, have you got a tally of all the members who have voted by proxy and the other members? Yes, uh, 23 votes to retain Alan Spaulding as CEO and 20 votes for Alexander Spaulding. Oh, huh. that's quite a horse race. Then I guess it's time that I voted for myself. All we need is one. Besides, India. What? Why don't you want to vote? May we have the votes of the other members, please? Mindy Lewis? Yes. Yes. What, sweetie? Yes, I vote that you be made permanent CEO. Beth Rains? <clears throat> May I explain my vote? Uh, it's personal, and this is business, but... No, this is a family business, so go ahead. This isn't about you and me, or even how you've treated me. And, Alan, I know who you are, and I have accepted the good with the bad. This vote is for Lizzie. Right now, she is pretty unhappy with me. Uh, you and your young handyman? And while Lizzie and I are sorting out our differences, you and Alan would have a bigger influence than ever. I want better for her than that. Better for her? Better than what, Beth? Lizzie's like a daughter to me. She's my granddaughter, a Spalding. At least there's one side of her family she can be proud of. As opposed to me? That's not what he said. Oh, yes, that is, and you're right there with him. I want better than your brand of pride or your judgment. I want someone at the head of this family who thinks of Lizzie first and not just how bad I am for her. I vote for Alexander Spalding as CEO of Spalding Enterprises. Oh, that's good, Ben. That'll fix everything. No, but it's a start. Harley Cooper Spalding. <laughs> Spalding Spalding, you mean? <laughs> Think I'd have learned my lesson. You used to know to watch out for your father. We would joke about him, remember? That's why I trusted you to be fair. And then you cross the line. Gus's sister told you the truth. And you tried to strong arm her because it wasn't what you wanted to hear. And that's when you became him. And you, Alan, you have always hated me. You never thought I was good enough to be a Spalding. Tried to sabotage my marriage. You're the one who started this whole mess with Zach by digging into Gus's past. And now you've turned Philip into a carbon copy of you. He's barking out orders. He's pulling all the strings. I want a better example than that for my son, too. <laughs> you realize you're agreeing with Beth? Yes, I guess I am. Should make you think, huh? And if that doesn't, maybe this will. I vote for Alexandra Spaulding as CEO of Spaulding Enterprises. Nick, did you get that? Now, Chrissy, it's your turn. My name is Blake. Okay. I'm sorry. We need your vote, Blake. Yes, you do, don't you? I'm surprised you asked me for it. After everything you did to my father, to me, everything short of trying to kill me, that would be him. And Philip. <laughs> I suppose any trouble you gave me back then I deserved. You haven't been a bad ex-husband since, to me. But then again, we've never had any kids. Now, the way that you're treating Harley and... Well, the way that you're treating Harley is enough, isn't it? Alan, you haven't changed. Philip, you have. 
So you're actually going to vote with Alexandra? I'm not voting with Alexandra. I'm holding my nose and I'm voting against Alan and all the trouble he's stirred up again. I honestly hope you learn something from this. I vote for Alexandra Spaulding as CEO of Spaulding Enterprises. Thank you, Blake, for that ringing endorsement. It's okay. We're still fine. How good are you at counting the house, Alexandra? Just as good as you are, brother. Ben, we still have the votes. Only if you vote for yourself. But... I think that's pretty risky. I mean, think of your bad heart. You see, um, Alan's been uh, very, very ill, which is why he made me a chief executive officer temporarily. And I think that doing this vote would put far too much of a strain on him. I'm strong enough to cast my own vote, and I vote for myself. Philip? I vote for Alan's bolt. So, that puts us head... By one vote. <laughs> Sorry, but according to my math, we're tied. Ah, but you've forgotten India. Well, I haven't forgotten India, but you seem to have taken it for granted. No, India will vote for me. Well, India, you've been uh, very, very quiet. What do you have to say? Tell her, India. How I hate to do this. I vote for stepmother dearest. Alexandra. What? The motion is carried. Alexandra Spaulding is now chief executive officer of Spaulding Enterprises and accorded all benefits, including the use of the Spaulding Mansion. I have expenses, Alan. You know you could come to me. Uh, not this time. Haven't I always been there for you? India went to the highest bidder. You gave me no choice. <laughs> You've always made your own bed, always. And always, you severely underestimate me, Alexandra. Don't think I'll forget this. Don't ask. I am sorry, Alan. Are you okay? What does she have on you? It's that obvious, huh? Not good. Look like you were scared to death. I'll be okay. You sure? Hey, it's okay. I know you wouldn't have done this by choice. No, I wouldn't have, Philip. Yeah. You see, I didn't want anything, anything but these. There's no need to be ashamed. You look beautiful in these pictures. Not a trace of cellulite. Alan, darling. <laughs> You should go home and get some rest. You look exhausted. Mm. Now that I'm in charge, you'll be able to fully recover. Mm. Yes, Alexandra. Think of all the time I will have on my hands. Mm. Yes. Maybe this time you'll put it to good use, darling. Right, um, ladies, I want you all to join me at the Beacon for some celebratory champagne. See you later. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad it's over. Let's go. So what do you think? I could use a drink. Oh, you bet. I want to <laughs> see what Alexandra has up her sleeve. <laughs> Bye, girls. It's been fun. Oh, Dad. I've lost everything. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Come on, it's not that big a deal. Six months, we can bring it to another vote. And I'm still here. And you still have Olivia. Okay. I want to thank you, Alan. 
thank all of you for your support today, and we're going to have some champagne to celebrate. So, Blair, I see you're not wearing a wedding ring. Did Ross finally come to his senses? Oh, why don't you go yank somebody else's chain, India? Because I have a lot of fun yanking yours. You know what? Could you guys forget that you hate each other for like ten minutes so we can have some champagne? Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. It is. Who's in those pictures? Excuse me. Hello, Lizzie. <clears throat> Hi. See ya. No, no, don't, don't, don't go. I'm late. No, for what? Lizzie, we have to talk about what happened. There's nothing to discuss. Well, with. I think that there is. Why? Did he ditch you yet? No. Are you going to drop him? No, but that then doesn't mean Then I don't have we... anything to say to you. And I so don't want to hear you explain yourself. Oh, oh, and just so you know, Olivia asked me to be her maid of honor, and I said yes. I wouldn't want you to get surprised. I should like to propose a toast to Alan Spaulding. You roast him, then you toast him? Well, he's my brother. He could be a great man one day, but he needs a wake-up call. Hope springs eternal. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. Today was a vindictive mugging, Alexandra, no matter how you dress it up. And I'm sick. I had to be part of this. You know, you talk about family and caring and wanting to do the right things. The families don't heal all that well with a knife in their backs. Harley, Beth, I know you two had your reasons. But if I were you, I'd watch your backs. So why did you do it? Really? I think that it was time that somebody took Alan down a peg or two. And Philip, too. I mean, look what he's doing to you and your son. Thank you. So Mindy's right. We're to believe that you did this in order to help them. Harley, I really, really do appreciate the risk you took. And you too, Beth. And in spite of what Mindy has said, I'm never going to forget what you all did to me today. And you too. Hi. What an interesting party. Hmm. Everything all right? Yes, everything's just fine, Olivia. Oh, by the way, I want to keep a suite on here because even though I'm moving to the Spalding Mansion, I want to have a place here just in case I want to get away from the family, okay? Right, so goodbye, everybody. Good night. And, um, Beth, darling, will you do the honors? Hmm? to me, Alexander! You can't take what's mine! I'll make you regret the day you were born! You won't! You won't win! Dad! What the hell are you doing? You trying to kill yourself? So you were all at the board meeting? Mm -hmm. I don't believe we've met. I'm Olivia Spencer. India von Holkheim. Philip's ex-wife. One of several, as you can see. Alan no longer controls Spalding Enterprises. Alan must be poorer. Yes. And since you're marrying him for richer or poorer, I thought you should know which one you're getting. You really think that matters to me? I have to go home. Just a minute, Olivia. I hear that you're trying to get my daughter now. Dragging her into this sham of a wedding of yours. You know what? Lizzie needed a little cheering up, Beth. Seems she walked in on her mother shacking up with her boy. Her words, not mine. And what words do you think she would use if she saw you groping her father, sending her grandfather to the hospital with a heart attack? Do you really want to go a few rounds with me today? I have no time for you. And I'm sorry that your daughter doesn't either, but that's really your doing, isn't it? So why did Philip and Beth break up this time? Uh, who cares? <clears throat> Beth has uh, been through 
a lot of changes since you left. <laughs> what else is new? Mm. And that was Alan's fiance. Oh. Well, if Beth hates her. That's a good sign. Mm -mm. Not necessarily. Not this time. Interesting. Holly, what you did today took a lot of courage. It was admirable. <laughs> yeah, or just plain stupid. <laughs> it's a very thin line there. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like I had to take a stand. I mean, what can Philip do to me, really? Right? He already has Zach. I don't know what I would have done if someone kept Dory from me. That's not what Alexandra... The infallible Alexandra, who claims to have acted in the best interests of Philip and Alan... I don't think so. Do you think Beth will rejoin us? <laughs> We're not exactly her crowd, if you think about it. Who needs to think? All those whose marriage to Philip Spaulding was ruined by Beth Rains raise their hands. You know, if I ever feel like actually going to a party again, I think you'll be on top of my list. <laughs> hey there, sexy. What's wrong? You uh, see Lizzie? Mm, yeah, and I'm trying to remember what you said, that she will accept it, but she hates me. She, this, this child that has stood by me and, and knew me when no one else did, and she That's she right, she just, hates you. Yes. Right, right, right. Well, like I said, it's, it's about change. I guess that would be the young handyman in question. Who is he? Th that is Bill oh. Lewis. <gasps> My, how he's grown. Excuse me, I need more champagne. Uh, uh, one here. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Honey, Wait, it's gonna what be have okay. I done? It's going to be okay. I, I will make sure of it. So it must be livid. Oh, he must be so furious. I think He's not used to losing, Blake. He has so much more to worry about right now. What you have to do right now is rest and get strong. Believe me, we will take it all back. Alexandra won a battle. She hasn't won the war. I only did to Alan what he'd happily do to me. I just got there first, that's all. Yeah, well, you know what? This isn't just about the little games that you two like to play with each other anymore. Because this time you used me to hurt him. So now you're going to have to answer to me as well. Look, Philip, Philip, um, I know we, ne we, we need to talk, all right? And I will talk to you, but first I need to talk to your father alone. Don't upset him. I'll keep it calm and civil, I promise. Hmm. So. Alan. How's the old ticker? Have I mentioned how much you're going to suffer for this, Alexandra? Oh, but you should thank me. Look at Philip. He's completely wrapped with guilt. You did me no favors today. Oh, but today, there's a lot more left of it. And a lot more surprises in store. <laughs>